Against World Cup Day 3, Game 2 is intensely important. The Czech Republic must win, and the Continental Crusaders from eight different countries in Europe can almost seal a trip to the semis with a victory today. Let's meet the starting goaltenders. Jaroslav Halak is a 31-year-old Slovak. He got a shout-out in Game 1, his sixth in 45 career international games. Peter Mrazek, the Red Wings' future star and former Ottawa 67, takes over from Michael Neuber for the Czechs, for whom he was a world junior star. What are you looking for early in this game, Craig Simpson? Well, I think, like the boys in the desk were talking about, it's how the Czech will play. I thought they played a great start to the game against Canada and just got overwhelmed. Ralph Kruger's had lots of positive energy on that bench, and I think the European team, Jim, will be even better today than they were in game one. And they start with their top line that played an awful lot. Didn't get any points, but they were excellent. And Dante Kopitar with Marion Hossa and Thomas Tatar. Thomas Placanitz of the Canadians and the Czech Republic has new line mates to start this game. Alex Hemsky is on one wing, Andre Palat on the other. Back for the puck is number 62, Andre Schuster, as both teams start an early change, 25 seconds in. Milan McCulloch trying to drive for the net and a nice defensive play by Mark Streit against him. Back to the blue line, Kempney with a shot. There's a big rebound, Hansel had his stick lifted and couldn't get a shot. A couple of good chances for the Czechs, but they haven't been able to bury one here. Here's Mark Streit in, delays, shoots, ricochet in front of the net. Mrazic is down and he's got gridlock all around him, but he's on top of the puck. Now, this is what I mean about Team Europe. They, they can score. They've shown that in game one. They come up the ice with a little bit of speed and precision. And the one thing about this group now, all of a sudden, people were looking at, well, would they come together? So many of these players, Jim, as you mentioned, here's their record internationally against the Czech Republic. When you're playing for a small country of France or Austria, Slovenia, not much of a chance to go up against one of the good European countries in international play. Now, I think collectively as a group, they feel that they're more of an equal type of a team and they've got a chance to win. That's where the criticism in these tournaments always comes to management. Marion Hosa on the attack with Tatar and Kopitar. Zvene McCulloch up the boards, couldn't get the puck out. Europe keeps it in. Here's Tatar. Here's Kopitar. Chara stopped by Mrazic. Best chance of the period after a turnover by the Czechs. Team Europe pounced. Couldn't finish it. Uh, Zidane Chara looks skyward. He can't believe this one, but it's relentless penalty or er, back pressure there by Marion Hosa at first, and Kopitar joins, and this is right off the knob of Mrazic. I, I think Chara got it where he wanted to. He thought he had a little daylight there, and look at Mrazic, look at the top of his stick, and Chara in disbelief looks skyward. Great pictures. Scramble draw, Hansen went straight ahead and got the puck, then he got pinned by Kempney. That's Nielsen, down low is Dreisaitl, Gabrick there as well, but he's closed in, he got himself open enough to get a shot in amongst those four penalty killers. From the blue line, Mark Streit, who's got a great shot, will take it. Too many bodies in the way, he'll pass off, Franz Nielsen, hard pass, Zuccarello to the front, what a save by Morazic on Leon Dreisaitl's tip. He got a cross in a hurry to the right side. Into the middle, Dreisaitl again with a shot. That one was blocked. Naglado made the block. And just as the penalty to Kempney expired, there's another one being called for cross-checking, and Europe will be right back on the power play. Yeah, that's some, the best chances of this power play late. A quick shot there right off the bat by Zuccarello off the mask of Mrazic. Good quick puck movement down low. Gaber gets a shot that doesn't quite find its mark. And then this one, as you mentioned, Jim, I thought Mrazic did an excellent job of telegraphing his foot out there. You see how he pushed that right pad and closed off the gap between Dreisaitl's stick and the open net. And at the end, just a little overzealous cross-check to the back by McCulloch to the face of Zuccarello. Back-to-back so -back power plays and Kopitar's first unit comes back on. Thomas Vanek tried to get the puck through and couldn't. That was blocked by Sabotka, but the Europeans get the puck back. Yossi with Hossa parked in front of the net. The puck got away from Kopitar. Now he's got it back. Vanek sneaking into the right side. Hossa drives to the front of the net. Mrazic is down. The puck's underneath him. Hossa thinks the puck is in the net. Penalty shot. Penalty shot. Somebody yep. grabbed onto the puck. I think it was Kepney right in the crease, and the reaction was immediate. 
Let's watch the play. A good aggressive play by Morazic. Oh, yeah, he put his hand right on top of it. And Kelly Sutherland was right on the doorstep. Here's a great look at it there. Good aggressive play by Morazic. You cannot put it on top. Your left hand there of Kempney grabbed the puck and knocked it away. And an emphatic call here by Kelly Sutherland. Got to figure it's Kopitar. Yeah, yeah very, have to, pretty easy choice, yeah, I it? would say. Well, you got Marion Hosa there on the ice, Tatar as well, but let the captain do the duty. A 0-0 game. Team Europe on a power play. Puck is covered in the crease by the hand of Michael Kempney, and it's a penalty shot. Here's Andre Kopitar against Peter Morazic. And the young Czech stop the Slovenian it's still a scoreless game and the power play continues you know that's a risky play and it's one that if it goes in you look amazingly controlled because you're just backhanding it trying to open up the wickets there for the goaltender but watch Morazic he gets that right pad down quickly and doesn't allow any room there for Kopitar to slide it in Dutz Morazic the save Sekera shoots on the rebound and he missed the net on the other side Chara Holds the puck in for Hansen. Belmar in front, centering pass. Goaltenders lost his stick. Vanek checked from behind. Fed the puck in front. Hansen can't get it. Tara scores! On a wild scramble, Morazic lost his stick and got it back. Chara jumped into the left side and from a sharp angle makes it 1 0 Europe. This has been a long, long shift for this line of the Czech Republic there. Yaskin a little slow to get to the point. Hansen wins the battle. The goaltender Morazic loses his stick and Hansel focuses on getting it back. Look at the interaction here as Hansel gives the stick back to Morazic. Neither of them know where the puck is. And what a heads up play by Zidane Chara. Not his hardest shot that he scored on, but he was aware of what was going on at the net and just made sure he got it up and over the goaltender who was preoccupied with getting his stick back. The key there was make sure it's accurate. He almost just looked like he to took something off it, didn't he? He just had his head up the entire time and put it exactly where he needed to. Well, will that change the complexion of this game? Finally, Team Europe breaks through. Maybe a better chance of that, but two close calls, but no shots on goal. Kopitar won another face-off. Hosa and Kopitar battle for the puck. Tatar's out front. Zabinik McCulloch won the little battle for the puck behind the net. McCulloch to center. Boric check with a shot. He scores! Jake Voracek got a little room, snapped a shot. The Czechs have their first goal of the tournament. This game's tied 1-1. Uh, it was almost not even there. Watch Roman Yossi just going after a bouncing puck. He thinks he can clear it, but a heads-up play by Voracek. Just a little bit of a lift of the stick with Yossi right there. Puck pops through, no hesitation, and just a perfectly placed shot. 14 inches, stick side. Vorchek's got his head up the entire way off the post and in. Halak was in good position there. You see outside is blue, but that's a goal scorer's goal in midstream flight. Just the 14th shot on goal in this game for the Czech Republic. There's an icing call against the Czechs. And Jake Voracek of the Philadelphia Flyers ties this game 1-1. There's hope for the Czechs yet. Well, Voracek is one of those players who's trying to rebound from a subpar year. Just 11 goals for him last year in Philadelphia. But there was no hesitation there in full stride and put it exactly where he needed to. One tie having outshot the Czechs 34-14. Just can't get another one on Peter Morazic. And so the penalty to Jordan is over. A minute and four, a five on three, and the Europeans couldn't score. Zuccarello with a shot, he scores! After all those wonderful saves off the glove and in, and Europe has a 2-1 lead. Boy, what a backbreaker that is, and just takes the life out of that Czech bench after they did a marvelous job of making the big plays five on three. Zuccarello with speed, let's have a look. Did anybody get a piece of that? No, that's just a whiff there by Morazic. A smart play by Zuccarello as he goes by the leg of Roman Polak. But look at the reaction. He twisted his glove in thinking that he had it. Instead, it went off the inside, and boy, 
after brilliant save after brilliant save by Mrazic. A weak one gives the European a 2-1 lead. You watch him batting the hatches now. Team your goal. It's a play by Michael Kempney. Reader follows. He got hit by Palak. From the blue line, Chara on the other side. Sekera's shot knocked down before it got to the net. Sekera's going to get another chance. Slap shot, a rolling puck. That was blocked by Kempney. And the 25-year-old check out the puck to center. Chara just about wiped out Palat. Andre saw the lights of the 33 train just in time. And the Czechs move in offside. Power play for the Czech Republic, trailing 2-1 to in the game. Roman Chervenka, Alex Hemsky, Vladimir Sabotka. Chervenka plays the puck across. Naglano shot. And a nice save by Yaro Halak. Chavutka. Chavinka takes the shot. Halak got a piece of that as Hansel tried to tip it. And Hansel's a preoccupation in front of the net. Here's Jacob Naglano again. Alex Hemsky starts to walk in, passes back. Savotka shoots a deflection wide. Hansel scores! With 11 seconds left in the power play, uh, Karam off the end boards is buried by Martin Hansel. 2-2. Well, the longest skate is for Thomas Bannock from the penalty box out. The Czechs had a couple of chances. Puck bounces off a few skates, but watch Halak. Good reaction there. He's in great position. Lots of traffic in front, and it ends up being the difference. Hansel gets a piece of that one off the helmet of Halak, and this one, another deflection off the skate. Halak down, and a heads-up play by Hansel. That one was blocked out high by Belmar. And here's the official right on top of it as Hansel puts it up and over a sprawling halak. Kosi up the boards. Ralph Kruger didn't want to play Anze Kopitar as much today, but I think he's going to have to. But that would be net off. Well, when you look at that penalty kill, they did a pretty solid job for the fact that Kruger has the option early on. You had Marion Hosa and Ante Kopitar up front, Chara and Sakara on the back. They almost made it through. But Sekera up the boards to Franz Nielsen. He gets the puck to center. Here's Zuccarello. The drop pass. Roman Yossi centering. Bounce to the net. And a tough deflection. And Morazic made the save. And there's a penalty coming up. And it's going to be against Voracek. I think on Zuccarello in front. That's a bad penalty by Voracek, too. That's a play at the net. He's going to argue that Zuccarello should be getting it. But Zuccarello went in there and tried to avoid Morazic. And just over aggressive. Jay Voracek to the net. Cross check gets him a penalty. Gets the Europeans a power play with a chance to go ahead. Big draw with a dozen seconds to go. Checks get it on a scramble. McLaro, Schuster shoots and Halak makes the save and there's still five seconds left. Well, if I'm Dennis Seidenberg, I go to my goaltender Ooh. Halak, give him a little tap yeah. because I've mentioned throughout this game Halak's ability to control the rebounds and not as much traffic in front. Look at the traffic is a little late getting there and Halak makes darn sure that he absorbs that into his chest and holds on and gets a face-off on the strong side for Anze Kopitar, who's 54% in the face-off dot. Kempney and McCulloch with him, two forwards and a defender, dry sidle. Mark Strait, pestered by McCulloch, pushed down by McCulloch. Hanzo gets to the puck. Spins away from dry sidle on the outside. McCulloch fights to the inside in front of the net. Back on the blue line is Michael Kempney. He takes the pass and dumps the puck back in. Strike in the Colic battle again. Kempney in from the blue line. The Colic goes to the front of the net. That's where the puck is off Halak. Breaking out is Zuccarello. Breakaway pass. Leon Dreisaitl scores! And the Europeans. 
the vagabonds from eight different countries put together for this tournament have done it again. Jim, so often in three on three, a missed chance at one end opens up that odd man rush I'm talking about. And what a heads up play by Leon Jaisettel. He's a developing young star in the National Hockey League. Much was made of his benching in game two of the exhibition and then his hat trick the next night. Watch the read here. He sees that the rebound's out high. Zuccarella gets his feet moving. Perfect pass and no hesitation. Stick side. That 14 inches, almost impossible for Halak, how quickly he gets it. Kelly Sutherland following the play down the ice perfectly in frame. And look at how deep Halak was there, standing still, no hesitation by Mrazic, sorry. Leon Dreisaitl gets the goal. The Europeans have a win in overtime. They have four points. The Czechs get a point in the loss. They're not out of it, but now they need help in a big way. And there's Kempney just in desperation trying to get there, almost able to get it as he dove there. But credit Dreisaitl keeping his legs going. Our play of the game for Advil, and it's worth another look. <laughs> Listen to the talk, the rebound there. Halak will get another assist after his second of the game, and what a shot there by Leon Dreisaitl to give your their second win. Leon Dreisaitl gives Team Europe the win 3-2 in overtime at 3-on-3. Three three. And here's our three stars for Molson Canadian. Peter Morazic had a wonderful game. He won't think so. Leon Dreisaitl with the overtime winner. And Roman Yossi is the pillar on the defense for Team Europe. A big win for Team Europe. And here's Ron McClain.